looking for funding for their famous faces project i would love to introduce you to emma I'm quite short, so do I need to bring it down? Or? Just pull it towards you. Okay, brilliant. So evening, everybody. Uh, my name's Emma Wilson, and I run an organisation called Artistic Spectrum. We deliver art and therapy to people with autism. We are based in the north of England, as you probably can tell, <laughs> in an ex-mining community called Thorn, where there is very, very little to do. Before I get started, I wanted to let you all know that presentations are not my thing. I'm severely dyslexic, so please bear with me. I am here because I truly believe in what we do. And in society, autism is overlooked. It impacts mental health and well-being. Autism has a knock-on effect to families, parents and carers. At Artistic Spectrum, we believe everybody deserves safe space where they can feel fulfilled, valued and a proud sense of achievement. So I am asking for your support. At Artistic Spectrum, yearly we support over 850 participants. We have been recognised by Doncaster and CBS as the most inspiring organisation and also runners up for the National Autistic Awards. What we do at Artistic Spectrum is create safe space and engage people in therapeutic arts. Fun is at our core and everyone in the room is valued. Along with delivering our services in our own workshop and gallery space, we also go into schools and residential settings. Art therapy helps autistic people find new ways to communicate, build relationships and see other people's perspectives and enjoy a greater emotional and sensory regulation. For example, of one of our impacts, one of our students, Aaron, who is six, but sorry, the slides don't relate to this. So, <laughs> say that earlier. <laughs> it's non-verbal, but he, who is now starting to speak. One of our participants, Emily, started to come into our Friday sessions in 2014. Emily is autistic and partially sighted. She lives in Lincolnshire. Emily sets off at seven o'clock on a Friday morning to get to us by 1 p.m. She has a total of 12 hours traveling on public transport with her PA for a two hour session. Sorry. Another one of our participants, Lynn, is in her late 70s. She is autistic as well as being deaf and always lived in residential care. She has never learned sign language, so has got no way to communicate. An A4 sketchbook is her way to communicate. <laughs> Before I was attending our sessions, Lynn only used to draw in black ink. But since attending our open studios, Lynn is now painting large scale and in colour. And she has a first solo exhibition at the end of the year. We need to do a lot more to support people with autism, from government policy and legalisation to education and healthcare services, healthcare services. Some of the challenges autistic people face in the UK are one in 67 people in the UK are autistic but many adults have never been diagnosed and my cousin is one of them. Less than three in, in 10 autistic adults are in employment. One in five anorexic women are autistic. The average waiting list and time is three and a half years for an autism, autism diagnosis for the children in the UK. Me personally, I'm a professional artist who studied my BA at Falmouth. I recently graduated from LCC with my master's. My work has been recognised by the Guardian, Marie Claire, the Observer and the Decoration. And I am also a fellow of the Royal Society of Arts. So with your support, what we would do with the funding is develop our Famous Faces project, 
over the past nine years, we have created over 50 famous faces <laughs> and we have exhibited nationally. With the new eight celebrity faces, we will be created by 80 participants. Sophie has already emailed <laughs> eight celebrities and we will be creating their portrait and collage. The plan is to auction the celebrity portraits in London in 2024 with all the proceeds going back into artistic spectrum. This project of celebrity famous faces is the start of an annual event and an income stream and a sustainable future for the organisation. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was a spectacular presentation. Thank you. Now, I, I'm interested in how the two of you met and how did Sophie get involved well, in your charity? Can actually answer this. Oh, God. <laughs> it's not that exciting, is it? Um, no, I, I um, know Emma because when I filmed the first series of Downton Abbey, I didn't have anywhere to sleep in London and Emma's sister used to put me up in her child's bedroom so i have a really tiny bed so they're a very charitable amazing family i can um yeah definitely say that and she's going to test me all the famous faces <laughs> so can we have a few examples of the famous faces yes. before you open it up to them? emma doesn't know who any of them are hopefully you will <laughs> um, i've got so what we're going to do is take uh, photographs of these people uh, and then get them signed so they'll be signed original piece of artwork and uh, we've got Stanley Tucci who's a big fan of the um, organisation we've got uh, Mel Staunton we've got Kit Harrington from Game of Thrones oh not so much of a reaction <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's loads, loads of Downtons I'm getting any Downtons I can get hold of but yeah we've got a good selection of really cool people so we're hoping that we can we can make keep making money from the project and the, the pieces are beautiful like the, the art is amazing and i think people will buy it Great. any questions door is open My the one that you won some awards did it come with any money attached to them did your awards come with any money attached unfortunately not <laughs> <laughs> we had to make some of the awards that were being presented <laughs> so we got a bit of money in that way <laughs> yeah Yes. Uh, thanks so much for the presentation. It was fantastic. Um, you. So you wanted to make this into an annual sort of fundraising. How much do you think you'd be able to raise, or is it just over? We we don't know, but we recently did um, all the portraits are made out of recycled materials, as you probably. So when you get up close, the shells, the you know, the students bring their stuff along and add to, add to the portraits. But we re last we've done a. Uh, exhibition at the BBC building um, and one of the famous faces went for about £5,000. So yeah, it was a free Carlo. Yeah. Wow. Is there time for one more question? Yeah. Di? Hello. Uh, yeah. <laughs> can, you, can you give us a breakdown of if you got £10,000, what it would do for you? Yeah, so we'd have six months of weekly sessions. We'd get the portraits, there's 80 participants, we'd get the portraits framed and also we're taking the original photographs of the celebrities. So the photograph won't be of anything that you've seen online or anything. Fantastic. Just, I just want to add, I think it's really interesting that uh, the, the fact that they're all collages made out of these um, recycled materials comes because, uh, was it Joe? It was, so no, it, it was um, a boy that I was working with in residential care, I can't say his name, but he couldn't, he would, couldn't, his thing was stripping and also written on paper. So I said, well, he wanted to close the art room because he was doing it so often. I said, we cannot close the art room. We've just got to move that behaviour on. So what we did then is I set up some big portraits because a lot of our students were up 24 hours, seven days a week. So what we did was open the art room for 24 hours a day so that they could go in there, could emotionally 
you know, cope with what they're doing. And then that's how the idea of the famous faces came about because we wanted to have a good outcome where we could celebrate in the world. Jenny? Um, I wanted to ask a question which I'm surprised hasn't come up as a favourite of members, which is um, replication opportunities. I mean, you know, it's extraordinary what you're doing. And actually, it seems like you're helping quite a large number of people, at the, um, which is great. But clearly, there's a huge world out there. What other organisations are there? Are you sharing your learning? Yeah, sharing we're, how? we're working with other autistic Organize. Oh, so sorry if I was pointing to surfing. Yeah, we're working obviously with other autistic organisations, but there's very few that are specialising in art with autism. Um, so yeah, the idea is that we become the centre of excellence. That's what we want to do. And then we want to kind of replicate it out further into the country. Yeah. Super, thank you very much.